get ready with me to go meet our new kittens. How exciting. So we went to the shelter yesterday. I have literally been wanting a cat. I have watermelon still. Don't worry. She's like kind of a stray cat we rescued years ago. She is uh, a good hunter. She uh, will come to you if it was her idea, but watermelon is not a friendly cat. So we're, I've been wanting like, you know, you know, the kind, like the kind, I had cats growing up and they like slept with me. They snuggled me. They were like my favorite thing. And I, I like want that for my kids. Um, I also want it for myself. I love cats. So five years ago, I posted, should I get a cat? Should I get a dog? And I ended up going to the shelter and I fell in love with Charlie, our golden retriever. And I got him. He died. Uh, he had a stomach tumor and we had to put him to sleep um, when I was pregnant with Veda. So probably a year and a half ago. And um, but I still have this like desire for a cat. And so a friend of mine sent me a message last night. I uh, had no luck at the shelter. All of the big cats there were very, they called them spicy cats. They had a sign on their little doors that said spicy. And there's a reason they have not been adopted. They were very angry cats. And so I had a friend message and say that uh, she knew somebody fostering kittens and they were being like syringe fed for the next four weeks. Um, but that a couple of them were still available. So. Their names are Laverne and Shirley, which I instantly felt a connection. And um, <laughs> uh, so we're, I'm surprising the girls. I'm getting them from school today and I'm gonna surprise them. And um, Christian could care less about a cat, but the girls are so excited. Uh, and we're gonna go meet the kittens. Anyways, um, okay, I'm gonna undo yesterday's makeup. That's what's left over did not wash my face. I had a coaching call until late last night. And so I was just tired. I went to bed. Um, I got these off of Amazon. So I linked them on my Amazon storefront. They are a, kind of like a dupe of makeup eraser, but you get all of four for the same price of one. And so it's called Erase Your Face and they're just eco-friendly reusable makeup cloths. Um, and you can use them uh, just, they're water activated. So you don't necessarily have to put um, makeup remover on them, but I'm going to show you the difference. So here's just with water and these are like really great, but here's like just with water and you know how you have to like tug at your lashes and stuff to get your makeup to come, come off and you're just working it and working it, right? Um, I'm going to show you, this is my favorite thing so that I don't have to like, uh, scrub up my face a lot. I use erase. It's a pre-cleanser from Palmafera and it's $18. It's oil-based, so oil breaks down oil. So it actually helps break down your um, makeup. And then when I use my little cloth, all this stuff is gonna just come right off. But if you're looking for your lashes to stay longer, part of like, like helping with your lash cycle is not tugging at your lashes. And so, Get my brows. I don't know if he has a flu or what, but he has definitely been sick all week. It's just been one of those weeks. He's down there with the baby right now, but I don't know. He doesn't feel good, so I'm going to try and be fast. Ah, too bad you don't live closer. You have kittens. That's so exciting. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the Stimulate Cleanser from Palmafera. This one is so great. It has jojoba and like peppermint in it. And it just wakes you up. This is my favorite morning time cleanser for sure. And that feels so good on. Typically I wash my face in the shower, um, but when I do videos with you guys, I wash my face. Uh, right now I'm in Christian's bathroom. All right, I'm just rinsing this out.
You guys had a good day? What kind of weekend plans do you have? So my dad is coming into town Monday. Uh, he came in for my papa's funeral, which is a fun reason to visit. My dad lives in Hawaii. Um, and he is uh, coming to town and he'll be here for a couple weeks. Uh, he'll be traveling some while he's in the state. So we'll see him for about a week of his trip. And um, it's, I'm really excited. Uh, excited to see him and have a good time. All right, we're migrating. Gonna do the rest of my skincare in uh, the, I can leave those washcloths here, um, in my office. But so we're gonna see him. Um, so this weekend, I'm just getting stuff together. Uh, he's gonna be staying at our Airbnbs and at the camp and um, our whole family rented out the camp. Uh, or we didn't rent it, we blocked it off. And so our actual whole family is gonna be coming up to the camp at some point while he's here. And um, like cousins, aunts, uncles, um, my sister, her kids, it's just gonna be so fun. And so we're just kind of like a big, fun time. Um, and I'm hoping that that's what like other families, we have some people that are running out for like, reunions or like several like people who are doing, you know, like my sister got a cabin, I got a cabin, my mom got a cabin, like kind of thing. And so I just think that uh, the camp's just going to be such a fun place for people to make summer memories. So all of you who are coming to Camp Swan, uh, really, really excited. Okay. Plump. This has hyaluronic acid in it. It is going to tighten your skin and shrink your pores. This is, uh, the skincare that I use is by Palmafera, And then I also use some skincare by Herbal Alchemy. They're both naturally based companies. I love what they stand for. They have like, um, living botanicals in their products. Um, they are, uh, one of the cool things about Herbal Alchemy is they give 2% of all of their cells back to human trafficking. And so, um, I love, like to help fight human trafficking. And so I absolutely love that. Um, I feel like I got something in my eye when I was, uh, like washing my face. Sorry, folks. I just don't want to have like a sore eye. Yeah. So it'll be a big family reunion for us. So for like our family, um, all right, letting that dry. Uh, did I mention I got new glasses? I think I might have mentioned this more times than I should. I did not realize the joy getting new uh, dishes. I do love dishes, but I am a big plate and bowl person, have lots of different sets of plates and bowls. And then I like sent them up to the camp, you know, cause I had like lots of different sets and I had cute anthropology, like wine glasses and um, just cute stuff that like, they looked cute on shelves at my house, but I was like, okay, well I could decorate this cabin with this. And I kind of just like did things like that, you know? And so it left me at my house with like no glasses. Um, I just was like, you know, putting cute things in cute places. And um, so I cleared out all of our dishes that were like ages old and I bought new glasses and I got all different sizes, like big ones, small ones. We had guests over and they literally had to use a coffee mug to drink their water and I was so mortified. And so um, anyway, so we got all new glasses and it has brought me so much joy. All right. Putting collagen in. You, it says you can mix this in um, uh, like four ounces of water um, or whatever. I have found, I love, have you guys ever done this? Do you drink these by, you can get these at Target. It's like a by um, one gram of sugar or less. I love the watermelon. And um, this might go better when I don't have the ice already in. Normally I do this in my pantry and then I get ice at the end, but we'll see. Um, and then I even got matching glass straws and they all have different fruits on them. And my daughters and I like don't do it this way. It normally is completely dissolved. It's because I already had ice in it. Should have brought up two cups. Anyways, it still tastes fine. But this combo, if you did not like, so I love like the benefits of collagen, but, um, I'll be honest, some of the, so the 
life collagen from Odeer doesn't bother me. I can take a spoonful, whatever, but it isn't like, mm, I wake up and like love this. Like I crave this flavor. This combo, if you struggle with like not liking collagen, this tastes almost like cotton candy when you put the two together. And so this is the collagen from Herbal Alchemy. I also love it because it has a guaranteed pure standard. So it contains no yeast, wheat, gluten, milk, milk derivatives, lactose, sugar, uh, preservatives, artificial col colors, or flavors. Um, and so uh, I just love this. But when you mix these two, if you haven't mixed that before, so good. Like it actually, like I will want that more than a coffee. So I've kind of like switched just, I was noticing I wasn't taking my collagen like every single day. Like I wanted to, I still take my trim every day. It tastes like brownie batter. I love it. Um, but I was noticing like on my reorders, you know, it'll be like your subscribe and save. It'd be like, do you need more of like collagen? And I'm like, no, I still have some. Cause I'm like not finishing my bottles. And so, um, I got this honestly just to try it. And I have like gone through several containers over the last few months, which to me is like, I think I am a sucker for a supplement. I'm a sucker for sales, infomercials, like all the things. And to me, if it's like, I will actually take it, then that's a win. And then two other things that I take from Herb Alchemy on the regular is the detox. Um, this helps you stay regular and it's a daily detox and they're all natural. Um, and... They call them the poopy pills, uh, but it also contains no sugar, um, no starch, no preservatives. Um, it's licorice root, uh, Oregon grape root, ginger root, fermented yellow dock root, echinacea, which is so good for your health. I need to put that on. Um, echinacea oil on me. I've been like loading up the kids and then the brain activation. Uh, Facebook has a rule that you can't take a supplement on alive. Uh, you can't consume. Um, something like that, uh, or you get in trouble. So I'm not going to actually take it right now, but I do take it. Um, and then you just never shopped. Herb Alchemy has a $10 off coupon if you use my link at CourtneySalon.com. Um, but their soaps, literally this whole room smells amazing because of these two soaps. And I have these in my shower. I'm working on like trying to like get rid of some of the toxic load and uh, like non-natural a uh, fragranced soap is like a big way that our body absorbs toxins. And so, um, then also this immunity body oil it has echinacea in it. And so your skin's a big absorber. So I am just putting on, this has wild indigo and echinacea oil. Um, I've been putting this on the bottom of the baby's feet. I do not want her to get what Adam has. I don't want the big kids to get it. Like, I mean, I've been like putting potatoes on the bottom of their feet to try and like suck out any yuckiness. Like, I just don't want it. Um, and then I just got these in. These are a body bar and you use them when you're in the shower uh, while your skin is still wet and you rub it on you and it is a body lotion. So if you have dry skin, that's like a cool thing to do as well. Okay, back to it. Oh, the body, the lotion body bars and pounce give you life. Mallory, tell me about it. You, so pounce is like a, um, it's a natural, like a uh, lubricant oil that they have, but it also has like peppermint and rose in it. And it's like a stimulant, but it's all natural. So if you've ever looked into what's actually in some of the like uh, intimate products that we use, like that's a very intimate area and some of them can be really bad for you. And so um, when I found out that they had that, that was one of my first things I ever got from them um, because I was like, I mean, I've had four kids. It's a lot of trauma to that area. Like if I can uh, get something that's natural that can help with it, and man, it will wake you right up. If you've never tried their pounce oil, like you're like, no, or if you struggle with that, maybe you don't. But I feel like the more kids I've had, I did have vaginal rejuvenation done. I was like struggling, even still, I still struggle a little bit, but like, you know, I'd like lean over and sneeze at the, or cough or something at the same time. And I'm like, well, peed myself. One time in Target, embarrassing story, I smelt like a new cleaner. I was, I was pregnant, it was during COVID. And I was like, ooh, this is coconut. Like, 
Like, I wonder what this actually smells like, if it smells good or not, because I was going to get this cleaner. Well, I guess I, like, get choked the wrong way, and I could not quit coughing. Everyone was looking at me like I had the plague, and I peed all over myself, like, um, in the middle of the store. Like, you could visibly tell why, on my pants. Like, I coughed, and, like, I couldn't quit coughing, and I couldn't quit. And so, that's, like, one of the reasons. Like, I chose, uh, in addition to, like, sensation type things, um, but... Uh, it was just like a daily issue. Like, I'm like, I'm really struggling here. And so, and the more kids I've had, the more I've struggled. I am the only one, and if I am, that's so embarrassing. But if you've had kids and you have struggles with that, like if you ever tried to do a jumping jack, <laughs> I didn't know that, or a lunge, I did not realize that that would become a problem ever. You know, like I didn't know that would be an issue for me uh, to that I, that you could accidentally get leaky doing a lunge, but you can. And so I did have that done and it made a huge difference. Um, but if you're looking for something that's just like kind of make things a little spicier, the Pounce Oil by Herbal Alchemy. So good. Anybody, have y'all tried it? Give some, somebody else, give it. Mallory's tried it. She knows what I'm talking about. Mix your collagen. Also, if I'm on the go, I will put my spoonful of collagen in this, shake it up, take a sip or two, and I'll drop a couple ice cubes in it just because I like the way ice tastes. Like, I love cold drinks. Um, but do your shaking up before you put your ice in. Yes, the trampoline is no longer your friend. It's like, what? What happened? Okay, I didn't mention these. I'm just talking about Oh, bladders. Um, okay, Plump has hyaluronic acid in it. It's from Pomifera and Brighton Serum. It's just going to help even out your skin tone. I have to get ready because I have to get my kids from school and we have to go see kittens. Um, so we're meeting Laverne and Shirley here in um, just a little bit. And um, I'm looking for my correct shade of foundation. Where are you? I have so many foundations. Um, I'm going to use cardamom today. <sighs> oh, you did pelvic floor therapy. It was a game changer. I should look into that. Um, I really should because it's like an actual, it's an actual thing. Okay. I'm going to use Ophir foundation today. I used, um, that Tarte foundation yesterday. It was the Skin Treat Tarte Poreless Foundation absolutely loved that too. It wore really well all day. Um, I once again forgot to prime my skin. What is getting into me? I need to, okay, I, bummer. My skin just looks so much smoother. Primer is such a good thing. It helps fill in your pores and gives your makeup a smooth surface to sit on. Like, um, See if you can tell. So when I don't, I didn't use primer today on accident. So like normally all of this, imagine your skin is kind of like an orange, right? It has pores all over it. And when you use primer, that fills the pores. So then your makeup sits on top of that part and it's smooth. So this is a good match for me today though, color wise. Um, I'm using the shade Cardamon today. Primer. Do I have primer in stock? I do. I actually have tons. I just didn't use it. I have dewy and matte. Um, I don't know what happened. Um, I, my thing went in and out. My Wi-Fi like went in and out. Okay. I used this yesterday and it was beautiful on. I'm going to use it again today in case you missed it. This was, uh, the deal that's listed is by Tarte and this is a body and, um, face bronzer. So I'm just going to bronze up my neck just a little bit. Bronze up my chest. And it can, it comes with this, but this bronzer is like, Super natural. Okay, where's the little bronzing brush? Comes with a pink bronzing brush. And I used it yesterday. What? 
we're going to use this today. This is like a, such a natural color. If you're like, I do not know how to highlight and contour, I recommend this. It is like dummy proof. It's the perfect shade to just blend in. It is a powder, but it feels super light and creamy. But it isn't a cream, it's a powder. But it's not too dark. This is the light medium. If you want links for things, just drop the word me below. Also, um, if you haven't shared, if you want to share, we will do an eyeshadow palette giveaway today. Comment share below once you've shared it and I'll pick a lucky winner and I will send you an eyeshadow palette at the end of this video. Now we're going to go in with um, setting powder and just to set any of like this glowy stuff, we're going to just put a little bit of setting powder on here. Just found the brush. Oh, well, I knew it was here somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, even if your page is private, you can share to it because then any of your friends can see it. Or if you know a friend that you're like, hey, I think she would like this video, you can tag someone. All right. This is the setting powder from Ophir, and it's so good. It's just going to give you more of that like airbrushed look. What do you think about this bronzer, folks? Like, what? I'm just taking a little bit of that bronzer and going back up the edge of my nose. I'm not highlighting and contouring today. Um, I'm just gonna do quick brows, like a cute, fun eyeshadow look. Also, y'all, I meant to show you this. I put my hair up to wash my face and then I was like, I need to take that down. I'm like, soon as possible so I don't end up with like um those creases this is day three since I curled my hair with that new La Titane um flat iron by Lange I cannot brag enough about how long the curls last if your hair is hard to curl hard to straighten does not last your curls just don't last or even your when you straighten your hair it's like it doesn't last you need that new um curling flat or not curling iron flat iron from Lange. it is titanium and then Lange's uh curling irons the look lip are titanium too and so but i'm like hello i'm gonna brush that a little bit and throw some dry shampoo and hairspray in there and i'm gonna call it a day but isn't that great three days i mean i have done like all the things okay going in with this grande Grande brow. And I just kind of fluff them up. And then smooth them down a little before they dry. So. Okay, so that straightener, if you had the Lorev and you loved it, it's like uh, kind of like the new and improved version of that, which was like my holy grail. They also have it in a one and a half inch plate as well. Maybe two inch. Maybe it's a two inch plate. It's um, the same size that the Le Gloss used to be. But yeah, so if you're needing a new flat iron, it's good stuff. Um, okay, we're going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe and 
I'm just gonna show you like a quick and easy um, eyeshadow look. So this is the shade SVN. All over my lid. And a little up into my crease. If you're just wanting for summer, just like a little light um, shade, that's like a great shade, that's that's a good one. Um, and then I'm gonna take this shade Butter, which is like a little bit of a orangey. And these aren't super shimmery. Actually, this butter is a matte, and I just feel like it's not an over-the-top dramatic look, but you're not just super plain either. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Um, you could even take a small little brush if you wanted and just take like a little dark color, like the Central Park is pretty. Um, or even, actually, what do I have on? I don't want to do green. Sometimes I'll do green with browns, um, but I'll just take this brown. Nope, not the color I want. Do not use Central Park. Hang on. Okay, we're going to go in with this uh, Roxanne color. My shirt has more of a butternut to it than dark, and so I want to pull that. Speaking of... Is this not the cutest shirt? I'm outfit repeating. I actually wore this out yesterday, but I didn't see anyone. Um, well, I did see a couple people, but it's not going to stop me from wearing it today. And then I was like, oh, I didn't talk about it on my video or my stories or anything. I was like, well, I'm going to wear it again today. Um, okay. Uh, I have the cutest lippy color. And then I'm gonna just use this uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Curved Brush again. Take your finger and kind of smoke out that little buttery shade. Put on a little bit of mascara. I'll show you the full outfit in a second. I got these jeans from Abercrombie. I felt so cool. I had always wanted Abercrombie jeans growing up. And um, anyways, I'm now 34 and I finally have some. Uh, I did not grow up where buying Abercrombie jeans was really an option. And then as an adult, I just have it. But I've been seeing so many people with these cute jeans. So I ordered them. They were on sale and I got them and they are cute. They have like that side button. Which when Adam saw them, he was like, what's wrong with your jeans? I was like, what do you mean? He's like, your button. Like, what happened? I was like, hmm, put them like this. Oh, I should have waited. You know, when you're tempted to, like, fix your mascara mess up, let it dry. Learn from my mistakes. Just let it dry. If you notice you need a little more of a certain color, you can always add it in. Okay, I will say this, I don't normally struggle with getting mascara all over my face. And every time I have used this, um, I think it's because of the way the wand, like, gets mascara sticking out of it. Um, I have gotten mascara everywhere. So, I'm not sure. I like the way it's doing for my lashes, but I'm not sure I will keep up with this one. I used this in high school. And it is super affordable and a lot of people had mentioned to try it. And so I was like, okay, I'll give it a go. Um, but I'm, I don't know, like that part's really bothering me. I'm like, I'm getting super messy. Um, okay. This is the, uh, Line Loud Magic Maker. I have it listed in my Amazon storefront.
beautiful. And then I'm gonna take the shade Kylie from the Matt Kylie collection. Put it in the middle and then blend my edge a little. Just adding a little bit of liner because sometimes when you're putting on a lipstick, like just until you get it the way you like it. Is that color not just like everything? This combo, I feel like this could be my new everyday. I don't know. There's just something about it that's like, it speaks to, to my soul. It's good. Um, and then, oh, we're going to put a little luminizer on. I'm going to use these Brilliant Balms by or Walk Me. Obsessed with them. I use them all the time. Lexi is doing her, you know, she started like doing her hair and makeup for school every day kind of thing. And, um, these are fantastic for her. She doesn't wear foundation or anything. Um, even in the summer when I just have a spray tan or when I was on vacation, I would pop a little bit on, of these on and it just gives you this like super healthy glow. Um, if you want links for this lip combo, just drop the word me below and I'll send you links for the lippy look. And then I'm just adding that um, blushing color. You can kind of see the difference. It just like picks up and lifts and then gives you such a healthy dewy look and if you wanted to add a chapstick or something over your um liner and matte lip if you're like i'm not into matte lips then you don't have to be you can totally add a chapstick All right, friends, we're gonna go meet the kittens. Um, I'm gonna throw some earrings on. I could not find a link for these, uh, so sorry. So if you see them, but I did get them in person at Dillard's and I linked the collection of earrings and they have a lot of other stuff there, like 20 bucks and just lots of cute earrings, um, but I couldn't find these specific ones. Sorry. Okay, yes, don't forget, uh, drop me in the comments if you need links. Okay, I'm going to take this with me. Oh, a full outfit. Okay, I'll show it to you. So, Abercrombie jeans. Um, these are a size 31. And then they're really cute, high-waisted um, on, on the bottom. And they are a high-waisted jean. And then this is a new top. Um, and I have it linked as well, and it has the cutest little ties, which I feel like are adorable, and I love that how it hits, like with high-waisted jeans, there's not really midriff showing, and then I just paired it with this cute cardigan that has these like little ruffle kind of scallop details, um, and I also plan to wear this uh, as a bathing suit cover-up as well, so I love outfits or cardigans or anything like that where I can like multi-purpose um, so I'm going to wear it like over tanks. I also sometimes just get like, if I have cellulite, um, I do have cellulite. If I wear shorts, I like wearing this because it kind of covers up a lot of the cellulite on the back of my legs. And then if also sometimes I just don't want like to show my arms or like it's not warm enough here yet. So I love something that's like breathy, has holes in it. It's not 
gonna make you super hot and sweaty, but yet you get some coverage. And so anyways, this is my little outfit of the day. Uh, thanks for getting ready with me. And I hope you have a good day. If you have questions, shoot me a message. I would love to help you. Bye guys.